Hi, I'm Tyler Oakley. And I'm Becca Frux. And welcome to Top That, your weekly pop culture cheat sheet to what everyone is and will be talking about on the web. Each week, Tyler and I attempt to top each other with our own top five of what's hot on the web. And we are looking to see if you can top us by submitting your own must-know items in the comments below. Um, Becca, mm -hmm. I don't want to get weird, but are you trying to come for my look? I don't know what you're talking about. The glasses. <laughs> okay, look, I too have vision problems. And listen, I think next week I might just come with purple hair. That's fine. The most sincere form of flattery is imitation. True just story. saying. Okay, I'm going first. Are you ready for my number five? <laughs> I am. Let's do it. Okay, so for my number five, we have the queen of sass, Louis Tomlinson, puking at a football game. A it's soccer just, match in America. I'm, I'm just trying to go with their lingo. So this boy, my man, queen of sass from One <laughs> Direction, was playing for a soccer game, playing for charity. Mm -hmm. So it was all in good spirit, you know, just trying to be playful and, you know, mm -hmm. raise some money, whatever. And uh, he got hit. Louis going for the ball and, and a guy who plays soccer for a living. A, foot, a football player. A man. A man. He like runs smack dab into him. So and then just... they collide. Poor Louis. That was the Sprawled collision. on the grass. Yeah, and so then Louis like struggling. Ooh. So he goes to the sidelines. He's puking everywhere. It was just a moment for the fandom. There's Everyone is trending some trauma. hashtags. They were like, pray for Louis. <laughs> oh, and also this the dude who, who did the deed, who ran mm -hmm. into Louis, he received a little heat on Twitter. Oh, I'm Twitter. sure. Come for our queen and you will be mm -mm. taken down a notch. All right, for my number five. What you got? Professor X married her buns are the best and Gandalf performed the ceremony. Like, what are you I, What are you even talking about? Okay, the new king of internet, Patrick Stewart, all right? And there was a picture of him in a ball pit that just went viral. He married his girlfriend who made a cameo in last week's countdown with her feet. Remember when we were doing the, um, the quadruple take? All coming back. The wedding photo they choose to like announce that they've been married is two of them in a ball pit, you know? <laughs> so now they are a married couple in a ball pit. Gandalf, Ian McKellen, who's another celebrated British thespian because they all roll together, yeah. as you might imagine. He actually officiated the wedding. The whole thing is just pure magic. Patrick Stewart, congratulations. Cheers. You know, to you and your singer-songwriter, adorable, ball pit crawling white. Love is beautiful. So for my number four, we have Roomba Pooch, Riding Dirty. Uh, oh, this I love is this. One vine to rule them all. It is a dog uh, coming at some other dogs on a Roomba. <laughs> His name is Buster Beans. Also, um, <laughs> the best dog name ever. <laughs> Here's my thing. Like, my dogs were terrified of the vacuum. Yeah. Like, are dogs getting less afraid of machines? Is this some type of- Is this a harbinger of the apocalypse? That's what I'm saying. I'm glad you took the leap because I was going for that route. Like, all I'm saying the is- The machines are teaming up with the animals. If we're not seen? here next week, you know what the dogs and the machines have done to us. You know what's happening. Just and you, it would make sense that the cats would start this because cats are all evil geniuses. Oh, well, clearly. So. In the Bust best way possible. Buster Beans, is, Buster Beans is coming for us, so please send help. Terminator 4. <laughs> That's all I have to say about my number four. Speaking of the animal world. <laughs> what? I going? met a star. I met a true shining star. I met Little Bub this week. Another leader of the apocalypse. Um, Little Bub is from space. She's a space kitty. She has the most glorious face to ever grace the web. She and you in, met her. I met her. She Here. came for an interview at Pop Sugar because she's she's doing a book tour. She's yeah. got a new book. Normal. Little Bub has a documentary. I literally was like, oh my God, I'm freaking out. Little Bub is in studio and she's so special and she's equal parts like the most beautiful thing you've ever seen and also like terrifying. Like I was like, I don't want to do anything to offend Little Bub. And we played this game where I had her pick. It was called Celebrity Catnip. And I had her, <laughs> I made little toys out of celebrities. Wanted and the One Direction. I don't know if she even knows who these guys are. Well, let's see what she thinks. Is there anyone? Oh, she, that's definitely a One Direction. Let's do your little bub impersonation. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> little bub usually doesn't... I hate mouth breathers, but little bub is the one. No, exception. her mouth breathing is like a f it's just fresh Iconic. air. And I'm I'm surprised it hasn't charted on Billboard oh, 100 my yet. Lord. 
Okay, so for my number three, we have the most cocky runner in a race, almost losing because he was celebrating early. Mm -hmm. This guy Don't was- Don't showboat. Yeah, so this, this guy was running in Brazil and he was like just celebrating before he crossed and like almost lost because he was just doing this. I guess this is how you celebrate. I don't know. But he was but doing that. He was that. basically like he was trying to high five people, have his moment, and yeah. this other guy's like, no, no I'm guy's finishing like, the uh, race. Bye. And so he's like about to run by, and the guy, I don't know how he, he didn't, clotheslined yeah, him. Yeah, he like um, interfered, and I don't think you're allowed to do that. Uh, well, it didn't seem like good sportsman like conduct. No, and I mean I don't know the rules to running because I don't do it. What are the rules to running? You, I think it's just like <laughs> stay in your no space. Pushing. Don't. Clothesline. People. All I'm saying is, yeah. So don't celebrate too early because it was kind of like slow and steady. Finish the, the race. race and then also like he was. Those were like seconds off of his time before mm -hmm. he crossed. Yeah. What was he doing? Don't be cocky. It's just a lesson. You do you. You know. Like do it across the finish line. But be classy. Is all I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. My number three is a badass BMX cop. I loved this. This was cool. This is so great because people assume there's kind of like an ongoing feud between like skaters and bikers and like punks. The punks as punks and the cops. And in this video, we see them come together and it's beautiful. Peaceful, harmony. Peaceful. Okay, this together. cop shows up at like a little skate park and he hops on a BMX bike and he looks, you know, a little, he's a little portly. Like maybe he hasn't been doing as much of his like cop running activities or whatever. He gets on this bike and owns it. <laughs> just to prove that he's for real with this, 360. Oh! So this just proves, you know, before you make any assumptions or like go to stereotypes, you need to just like give people a moment because put them on a bike. They may surprise you. Right? Okay, so for my number two, we have a story that I was prepared to talk about at the beginning of the week, and then it kept developing, and all of you guys were submitting it over and over. We have the twerk fail, which turned into the twerk prank yep. of a generation. Um, so this woman. Jimmy Kimmel, you sneaky, yeah. sneaky Jimmy man. Jimmy Kimmel, stop it. I will never trust you again. Um, but this woman was twerking on a door, as one does. The door opens, her friend comes in, she falls down and on a table. And of course, the, the, the table's covered in candles. So she catches on fire. <laughs> and here's why just everyone thought it was staged, was because it stopped before we saw mm -hmm. the fire getting put out. Like, you don't have time to hit pot, like to stop recording or whatever you're doing. Yeah. I don't know, it's just well, something I, about it. I just, I wanted to trust it. And then, Jimmy Kimmel has her on for her first interview and then reveals that uh, what happened farce. after the camera stopped. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy Kimmel. All part of the job, ma'am. Surprise, Jimmy Kimmel did it all. And so, you know, I will never trust anything did again. Did he explain why, why he did this? He to just play won. with our hearts. Miley Cyrus at the VMAs. Was it just a Jimmy Kimmel was, prank? Yeah. Was Jimmy Kimmel actually in theory. that tiny plastic bikini thing? <laughs> he was stuck inside You know what I mean? And it was like, a, a, like we're all in a simulation right now. Yeah. It's like divergent. That's what's happening. Yeah. So Jimmy Kimmel, stop it. For my number two, speaking of Miley, which when do we ever stop? You know, we can't we stop. Can't stop. We, we can't stop. We won't stop. Miley wrecked the internet this week, naked. 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 This is user submitted from my girl, Farida Yeah Yeah. I don't Farida know if that's right. Farida Yeah Yeah. Farida Yeah Yeah. Okay. Uh, Miley's wrecking ball video crashed into the internet and yeah. totally blew up the record on Vivo. Yes. Just went nuts. So this chick has been on a roll lately. Um, and she decided in this video to again be naked and she kept in her, you know, like, let me just wear small white under things. Not even that, she just gets naked. I came in like a I liked it because it's so raw and it real. Is raw. She got close up on there's her tears, face. There's tears. There's a single tear. Tears. Mm. It's so good. And I think it should be noted. So she had the record on Viva for 24 hours of views mm -hmm. uh, with "We Can't Stop," and okay. then One Direction fans took it away with mm -hmm. "Best Song Ever," and then she got it back with "Wrecking Ball." I came in like a wrecking ball. And she didn't do like a little celebration dance and didn't cross the finish line like freaking Iron Man. She went, she was like, no, I'm- You know how she did I, celebrate though. How did she celebrate? She released the track list for Bangers, her upcoming album, and 
she revealed guest starring. Do you know who's gonna? She's tell doing me, a duet tell with? me all the words. Britney Spears. What? Duet of the century. We are not worthy. Can I you imagine ready. if they both get naked and get on something swinging around? Evan, help us. Okay, so for my number one, we have probably the most endearing video of the week. It is uh. a man sees his wife for the first time after having surgery, and it was just heartwarming Oh my because, God, it's just swoon, it's yeah, adorable. This guy, he's waking up, he's kind of coming back. He's, he's groggy. Like, he just had surgery, his wife is filming and feeding him crackers, as one does, mm -hmm. and he like sees her, and you see in his eyes, like he falls in love all over again. Did the doctor send you? Man, you are eye candy. You're some eye candy. And then he's like, you're the And he's piecing beautiful. it together. Yeah, and then she's like, we're married. He's like, you're my wife? You're my wife? <laughs> Me and you, you? have like, we kissed yet? Have we kissed yet? <laughs> he's like ah. realizing all over again. He's like, oh my God, I hit the jackpot. If this is you, Jimmy, I will be, I will not be happy. This won't be cute. <laughs> yeah. This Nothing. is kind of, I would just be pissed. You ruined everything it. now, Jimmy. Thanks a lot. Thanks. We don't believe in love anymore. So that's my number one. What do you got for your number one? <laughs> All right, so the only way to follow up true love is... Is with what, Becca? <laughs> what does a fox say? <laughs> okay, you guys, this video exploded onto the internet. Some people are even saying that it might be the next Gangnam Style. I'm saying hopefully it's a Jimmy Kimmel prank because I don't want it to be real. I don't want this I'm to be a thing. I'm obsessed with this video. And in fact, some of you will back me up on this. Not Tyler, but Mr. V's and Tizaru X yeah. and Mimi... <laughs> Bye, B, Mini B, and Jerron Stromdell. I don't know how to say that o o thing with, with the, the slash, slash in it. it. Anyways, thank you for backing me up on this video because I think it is everything. Dog goes woof, cat goes meow. And they're totally spoofing all those ridiculous EDM videos we've seen where people are like dancing around in the woods. And in this case, it is people dressed as animals. I like when they're making up all the noises like. Bing, bing, bing. I get that this was like a great angle for them to take, but we do know what a fox says. What does the fox say? There's one called the Vixen's Scream. <laughs> what? And they also kind of yip, they're like, <laughs> and they bark and stuff. I knew this. I don't, I mean, Becca, not everyone maybe. What is wrong with you? <laughs> You only put this as your number one because you wanted to show off your fox mating what can I call say? skills. Fox mating calls. Bing, 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 bing. Stop it. I'm Becca Frook. And I'm Tyler Oakley. Thank you so much for watching Top That, your weekly pop culture cheat sheet to everything you need to know. And if you liked this week's episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Pop Sugar Girls Guide for more episodes of Top That every single Friday. And let us know what you think about my glasses. Let us know if you have any other things that you want to see in next week's Top That. Besides more of her glasses, uh, we'll be taking more user submissions. Ooh. So, okay. Later, y'all. I'm just doing this. I want to do that. Ooh. Bye. Bye. Bye.